So I want to start this by thanking all my fans for all your support. I owe this to you, the truth. Why I left a certain little reality TV show. Let me just start, I don't have a drinking problem. Yes, I smuggled in wine to the assistant HQ. And if you knew you were going to be stuck in a house with 12 baby CEOs, ugh, and please, well-behaved women rarely make history was plastered in like every second room in that place. Okay, if I'm gonna violate the NDA, I'm gonna really violate it. Story time. So, before the show started, the producers weren't getting a ton of people applying. I, I don't know what part of, did you give up on your dreams? Are you stuck as an assistant? <laughs> Wasn't cutting it, but they dropped the age requirement which is how I was runner, runner up on the 40 year old assistant at only 35. Does it get more tragic? <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, it does. I, I graduated from the best fashion school in the country. I designed this dress. Now I was gonna have my own line by the time I was like 25. But I graduated in 2008. Anyone who graduated in 2008 or also maybe 2020, you get it. You know, half of the assistants on the show graduated in freaking 2008. Of course, you don't know that because we had to pretend we were 40. <laughs> like being 35 and an assistant wasn't bad enough. <laughs> Wait, I, no, I take that back. It's not bad. I know lots of y'all got real upset anytime anyone said being an assistant was kind of bad. It's not. If you want to be an assistant, like Sherry, she loved being an assistant. And okay, I know all you Team Sherry out there want to know the truth about our cat fight. Ugh. Okay, first of all, I am also team Sherry. Something about Sherry. She will do anything for the people she loves. So um, that food truck challenge where we were managers of food trucks in Times Square. Sherry's dairy products all arrived expired. I had overordered, and I wanted to sell her my extra stuff, but the producers wouldn't let me. So yes, I lost my temper. And on TV, you hear me yelling on my phone, this show is meant to be about women helping women. I'm yelling at the producers, not Sherry. Okay, but maybe the worst rumor why I left is cause I wasn't going to win, please. It was down to the final three and with Sherry out after losing that dumb skydiving challenge, like vertigo isn't going to stop you from running a company, just FYI. But my odds, objectively, were good, very good. Do you know the symptoms of ovarian cancer? Bloating, pelvic pain, feeling full quickly, needing to pee a lot. <laughs> That's not the vaguest symptoms you've ever heard. Oh, also fatigue, a change in periods, back pain. I mean, come on. These symptoms are called being a busy person in 2021. We need a take home test for this already. Breast cancer surely has enough money from their pink 
everything campaigns for like decades and get some assistance onto that budget. They'll get both diseases cured. Um, my dear Sherry has, has set up a fund for my medical expenses. The truth is I only went to the set medic cause I was tired and a little sore. My period was really late and well, I definitely wasn't pregnant. <sighs> but the truth is honestly, I agreed to go to an OBGYN cause I figured a pelvic exam would be nicer than the upcoming girls run the world challenge, which involved a lot of actual running. But you kind of have to run this lucky gauntlet to, to actually get diagnosed if you have ovarian cancer. You have to take seriously these vague symptoms refer to aforementioned list and then you have to still take them seriously uh, after what is probably going to be a clear pelvic exam and that's important because you have to take them so seriously that you get an ultrasound and then then maybe also an MRI or biopsy And I just wanted to not go back to assistant HQ. I wanted to waste as much time as possible. I will, um, not anymore. So I left the show. <laughs>